Oh Okie dokie. Right, I've um, got some more resin. And it does say it's a three month shelf life or something once it's opened. So I'm going to try something today as I always do. I'm going to. This table is very unsteady, I need to get a new one and all that. And I'm worried that my uh, paintings may not lie flat. But I just want to get something done with it, so it's going to be a bit hit and miss. Right, so I'll add some resin to each of these. This is already made up, it's 200 mils. And um, it's mixed up with five parts of the catalyst, five mils of the catalyst. Yeah, I'm using the uh, the old stuff, the catalyst one, because the other stuff is too expensive, far too expensive. It is for me anyway. Uh, I mean, I've seen some. It's like a hundred pound, a hundred dollars. It's just really ridiculous. So I think I've made too much up here. Well, we shall see. Right, make sure I save some clear. I'm not sure what to the market to put in. I did do a test one with the um, the one that had gone off. I did uh, did a test one, the one that went off, and that was I don't know. That was about as much as I've just put in now. I mean that stuff went really horrible and bloopy. Um, not recommended. As I said, they said it had shelf life for six months, but I took it to about seven months or something. Um, it's not fluid anymore, it's just gel. Um, the thing is, I can always make things like this out of it. I don't know why I want to make things like that out of it, but this can still be used for jewellery, I suppose. no specific colours on these powders so you just have to send me a word for you that's a purple and a orange looks like a barley sugar it's very cold in here today it's that cold I tried to weigh uh, the resin out and my scales stopped they just stopped working all together Was I meant to use now? There's a fly buzzing about. Obviously, the cold doesn't affect the flies, unfortunately. So, if you do get a fly and pass the camera, you know where it is. All these have been uh, bought from wish.com, these at Micah's. They're very cheap. Well, cheap as in uh, I can get them cheaper than the UK. Put it that way. Uh, whether it's different to America, I don't know. Could be. So I've been wanting to try this for a while. Uh, I've done resin work before, like with jewellery and organite. As I said before, if you don't know what organite is, just have a look at it. On Google for it, you'll find all the things you need to know about it. I think. Put the last few bits in there. This is a gold. Oops. A gold book went all over me.
This resin says I have 25 minutes to work. 20 to 25, so I don't want to be hanging about. If you can hear any drumming, it's coming from next door. He's got a, he's coming with his garage into a studio. We just soundproof until you get really next door to it. But it's okay, I'm not bothered with that. Bit of background music for you. Without um, <laughs> having to pay any royalties out. So these markers are looking really nice colours. Right, I want to. This is a black pigment rather than a mica. I'm not sure how much I'll need, but that much. Oh, the black is actually a purple. Okay. I don't know which this camera can see this one, but that's like a purple it's just come out. I'll just check the camera and see what you can see. Yeah, it looks like you can see a fair bit. Let me just zoom in a little at my help. Top. I'm going to uh, get one. I'm going to get one made out of plywood. All it is just a square of plywood. Well, I'm using them all. This is a piece of polystyrene, believe it or not. But it's doing the job, sort of. Uh, this is what I'm going to be working on today. As I said, it's not perfectly straight, so. I won't say I'm worried about it, but I'm not too happy about it. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. I'm not going to need to lift it at all. So, let's see what that works out like. Right, so I'm going to put this black, which is really a purple. I'll tell you what I'll do first, I'll get another pair of gloves on. Just pop these ones on. Thank God they make man sized gloves. The ones I usually buy, they usually strangle the hands to try and get them on way too tight. And these ones are, <laughs> if they fit me, they're big. So, right, so, let's begin, okay, got to make a frame. I'm wondering if I've got enough here actually. Has been thinking I've made too much. Actually, it's not too bad.
back in actual coach sides. That's I've been messing about with resin for years. Just making things, encapsulating things. Got to do, but it goes something like this. Just doing a scroll down there, or even a line. some gold down there. Bit of a crossover. I'm also wondering if it's gonna actually um, harden properly. Because it's now about, it must be about two degrees there. That's what it's fairly brisk. to go through this one as well. I did forget to put the, uh, the clear as it down first. Myself a new heat gun as well. 
things with resin you can't once it sticks on you you can't get it off. to plug in the uh, heat gun I haven't tried this out yet so it did better work or else I won't be happy I mean we run inside and tried to find a Hair dryer. It's just not a thing I use. Ladies, just make sure you don't get your hair dryer and your heat gun mixed up. Really is cold in here. Freezing. Just gonna put the deep purple down here, which I thought was black. If anyone's watching who does this regular thing, he'd always done it wrong, he's done it this, he's done it that. Just remember it's my first time of doing this. So things will get better. Maybe yeah, should have kept a bit of clear, a bit more clear to one side. It's not a problem, I can always use a bit of core if I need to.
gold on this part. Should look nice though. Yeah, we should have held back a little on the colours. Seeing that there's not a lot left. That's the last of the gold. the darky purple So I'm hoping the door to get a bit of ventilation in here. Not the greatest smell in the world. I don't know if you see the steam coming off my breath. But it's the Now we have to fix this. I wonder if it would be better with a hairdryer rather than a heat gun. Uh, I am going to be too new with a heat gun. Yeah, the resin's starting to go off as well now. As you can see it's flowing a lot uh, thicker, the viscosity is going.
Yeah, the thing next time I'll make a little more of the uh, clear. Sorry if you're not talking too much on this, but <laughs> when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. I don't get rid of any air bubbles what's there. There doesn't seem to be many. Which is a good sign. I hope. I think I may just go for the air dry next time. Right. What do I think? I think I put too many paints on. I know I've put too many paints on. Um, I don't know. It's my first time, so we'll uh, take you down and play over a lot. 